All right, guys, so just finished up cardio, got my meal together. Eight ounces of egg whites, three whole eggs, 80 grams of oats with 75 grams of blueberries. Um, got my morning digestive shake. Got all my supplements to take as well. Uh, I'm gonna add some sodium to this. No sauces, but we can use salt-free seasoning, so I'm gonna put that on the eggs. Um, then I'm gonna eat this up, but I will put kind of like right here, um, the total calories and macros for this meal. But um, I am hungry. I have needed this refeed because I'm running low. So I'm gonna dig into this and I don't do the whole mukbang thing where you get to watch me eat. So just explain the meals and uh, yeah. And then uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys for a uh, meal too. So see you then. What is up guys, welcome to my office. Uh, it's time for meal two. Um, I'm currently working a bit on the computer as well right now. Um, sorry, this is also a, gonna be like a crappy iPhone vlog. I'm still waiting for uh, this cool little gimbal thing that I have to hopefully stabilize the camera, come in here in like the next couple days. But this is my meal. So as you can see right here, we got a pack of guac, six ounces of chicken, 280 grams of rice, quarter teaspoon of salt and that's what's currently going to go down Oop. is currently what is going to go down for meal two i've got one more meal and then we'll be training which i will space out probably have it around like 233 ish uh, it's 11 30 right now so um yeah i'm going to eat this up and continue working um and yeah and then i'll throw the uh macros right over here for uh, meal two for you guys but once again, like I said, I don't really do the mukbang stuff, so um, I'm not going to sit the camera up so you can watch me eat. Um, maybe at some point I'll do that if there's a request for it. But um, as of right now, I'm just going to eat this up, focus on uh, filling out a little bit, and then, um, yeah, just continuing to work. So I will see you guys for the pre-workout meal. Um, yeah. Oh, also, just to mention, I've uh, been drinking water all day. Um so I get about six liters of water in every day too. Um, each meal has a quarter teaspoon of salt on it as well. So uh, I think uh, if I think of anything else that uh, I didn't talk about, I'll uh, let you know. But um, yeah, I will see you guys for the uh, next meal. What is up, guys? It is time for the next meal. Um, this is the pre-workout meal. Um, so what we are going to have here is... 90 grams cream rice. I did the baby rice cereal because you just add hot water and it's good to go. Two scoops of the bum isolate. You gotta make sure that you put the lift in there. Um, and then we're also doing um, peanut butter, 16 grams uh, with a tea, quarter teaspoon of salt in there. Um, and this is what's gonna be the meal uh, for the pre-workout. Um, I will grab uh, something for my intra workout and kind of Detail all that at the gym. Once again, this isn't gonna be a workout uh, video, so I'm not gonna post any of my workout or anything. Um, I'm actually doing some videography, um, photography stuff at the gym later. But um, yeah, I'm gonna get this together. Um, I'm eating it at about two-ish hours before I'll end up at the gym, um, just so that it has plenty of time to digest. I did take just barely a digestive enzyme. I'll do that sometimes if I feel like meals are sitting kind of heavy, just to make sure that like, things are moving along and moving through, but, um, I'm going to eat this up, post the macros here. Um, and then, uh, we will just, uh, get to work, go downstairs, go chill out. Um, spent most of the morning on calls with clients. Um, so I am an online full-time online fitness and nutrition coach, bodybuilding coach. I've got like, honestly about like 15 guys in prep right now, getting ready for shows in the next about four to five months. So, managing them, getting them all in. If uh, you see this and you're looking for a show and you want a coach, um, I would love to work with you, whether you're, honestly, whether your lifestyle or whether you're bodybuilding or whether you eventually wanna do bodybuilding but you feel like you need some guidance on how to just build the muscle and get there for like a year or two from now, just hit me up. I'd love to work with you. I'd love to get you on the right path and teach you the right things to do and get your nutrition, get your training, get your lifestyle all working together and execute effectively like i love this shit like this is what i live for i want to help you guys to be the best versions of yourself uh, whether that's on stage at home in person wherever but 
please just reach out to me. Um, I'd love to help you go to the link below. Um, I have an application form and uh, we can get going from there. But anyways, guys, um, I'm going to get this meal together, eat up. Um, and then in about two hours or so, I'll be heading over to the gym um, to hit a workout. And I'll show you kind of like my intro workout and everything like that too. So yeah, anyways, time to eat. What is up, guys? Just jumping in the car here. Gonna be uh, heading over to the gym now, but um, you know, as uh, what I was saying previously, um, I do want to kind of take you guys along, give you like the full um, kind of disclosure on everything that's going inside my body today. Um, so let me close the garage here real quick. Um, so with that, I didn't want to talk about uh, what I'm actually like doing on my way to the gym, um, which is pre-workout, one scoop of raw pump, one scoop of raw burn to kind of accentuate uh, fat burning processes. I usually just like try to put like a little bit of water in here, chug it down really fast, then um, drive on over to the gym. Um, a big main thing um, that we are uh, also doing is uh, I'm going to be stopping on the way to pick up some intra workout carbs um, that I'll eat, get into the workout, um, and then kind of go from there. I've got about like 30 minutes until I meet my videographer there. Um, we'll bust through the workout. It's a chest and tricep day. Should only take like 40, 45 minutes or so, just because um, I've over the last week I've kind of scaled back. I'm no longer training to failure. I'm um, just focused on keeping stress low pushing food, pushing blood through the muscle, um, stimulate, don't annihilate. Um, and then, uh, yeah, just, uh, slowly filling out, reducing stress. So that I process food better, sleep better, do all that. I've got to drink this. It gets thick if I don't drink it really fast. Mm. Shoot. It's already thickening up. Mm. Pretty sure that's the raw burn that does that. Mm-mm. But I don't know if you guys have ever done um psyllium husk fiber, but it's very similar to that. Where um you blink and then all of a sudden it's a sludge. Mm. Well might be just about all that I get out of there. Mm. So clean the bottle out when we get to the gym and then at that point once the bottle's cleaned out we'll put uh, the EAAs and the creatine in there that's the other part of the intra workout um but yeah so as far as like the actual um intra workout carbohydrates what I'm going to be doing is um yeah I'm going to be doing a rice crispy treat have fun while you can, dude. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, because uh, come tomorrow, we are back on low days, so um, no intra-workout carbs. Um, I mean, unless I have, like, a crazy check-in tomorrow morning and coach is like, oh, shit, we got to eat more food because we're wasting away, which is doubtful. My body's very responsive to carbohydrates, very responsive to food. Most likely, I'm going to wake up tomorrow and be, like, two, three pounds heavier, which then brings me to like a little bit above the weight cap maybe. So that's something that, uh, we'll have to be kind of conscious of. Um, huh. Interesting. Okay. I'll have to get that checked out. Looks like there's a low tire pressure thing going. So anyways, guys, um, I will check in with you guys. Um, once I have the rice crispy treat. All right, guys, back in the car. Rice crispy treat. I'm going to go down. We also got ghost. Energy drink. Um, I mainly like the ghosts because they do have um, uh, nootropics in it, so it helps a lot with like brain function, focus, all of that. Um, so I'll usually start sipping on that as I'm headed over to the gym from the gas station, um, and then uh, I'll finish it after the workout. Um, and then that'll be it for the caffeine consumption today. But um, yeah, I'm a uh, not running late, but uh, I do need to get going, so I will catch up with you guys for the post-workout meal after chest and triceps. All right, guys, we are back from the gym 
post-workout meal here. 280 grams of rice, six ounces of chicken. Very simple. Um, kind of a repeat, but without the avocado from earlier. I'm going to eat this up. It's like almost 8 p.m. So this is going to be a late night because I've got two more meals after this. And I won't lie, this amount of food has kind of been hard on uh, my digestive system. And I've just been digesting stuff like super slow um, and just feeling kind of heavy. So um, probably going to be one of those days where I'm up eating until like 11 or 12, which I mean, I guess it's better than uh, my low days where I'm like finishing eating at like 8 p.m. <laughs> and I'm just taking all the sleep supplements and everything I can do to knock myself out so that I don't like wander into the kitchen and start like eating. <laughs> um, so definitely a good change of pace, but um, definitely not used to eating this amount of food this often uh, anymore, which is funny because this is pretty close to what my um, off season um every day was uh, it's about 4,000 calories ish but i'll put the uh, calories for this meal here then i'll come at you for meal five probably in about another two-ish hours which is going to be like 10 p.m so and then i did pick up steaks on the way home um because that's my last meal and we we're out of steak so i gotta grill those up too so uh but anyways catch you guys at the next meal all right, what's up guys? So here you go, meal, 280 grams rice, six ounce chicken, and another guac cup. Um, got uh, salt, quarter teaspoon of salt, and then um, salt-free Chipotle Southwest, Southwest Chipotle, um, Mrs. Dash. So gonna eat this up, um, probably in about another hour and a half or so. Gonna fry up the steaks, have six ounces of that, and uh, then head to bed at that point, but yeah. Overall, this is, this is the day. This is good. See what we wake up and look like tomorrow morning. Uh, Checking again with Coach, and we're doing everyday check-ins until the show. So, it's go time, baby. All right, guys. Trying to work this new gimbal that I got. But um, last night, totally messed up. Totally didn't record. Typical me fashion of my last meal. But um, what I ended up having was one Premier Protein Shake and a tablespoon of, well, 20 grams of Skippy Peanut Butter. Um, and the reason why is because I just didn't feel like honestly cooking um, steak at like 11 p.m. at night. So the macros all kind of like roughly, you know, figured out. So I'll put those right up over here um, and then I'll have the total for the day as well. Um, I'm trying not to use my hands too much because I just got a gimbal. Um, so that's why the camera is also now following me around. So. Hopefully this helps kind of like improve quality and everything. And it's got some facial tracking stuff. So as you see, um, it's keeping me in frame. So that'll be cool. Uh, mess around with it going forward into the future and using it a little bit more. But anyways, guys, hope you're, uh, hope you're doing well. Hope you enjoyed this video. Full day of eating minus meal six. But uh, this is that's what I ate. And um, also got a video after this. That shows you what I woke up looking like. I was about two and a half pounds heavier, three pounds heavier. I don't know. I'll, uh, I'll include that in there as well. But uh, Coach is happy. You know, we're looking full. We're looking good. We're looking dry. We're looking grainy. Um, only thing is we got to make sure that we make weight and then fill out for the show in about 11 days time. So, um, yeah, that's the only thing. It's the next day. I just got home from the gym and I'm really hungry. So I'm going to, you know, start eating now. So, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for uh, tuning in and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Bye. All right, guys. So actually, um, I'm not actually going to, uh, um, end the video quite here because I got a box here from, um, Rotten and Revive. So that's weird. Sorry, messing around with the gimbal. It's a little bit iffy. Let me see if I can get the facial recognition to track me a little bit better. There we go. Okay, so got the uh, got the gimbal here, um, but I found this on the web. got a... Siri is always trying to butt her way into my conversations, especially on my Apple Watch, and it kind of annoys the crap out of me. So still haven't eaten guys, but um, we got a box over here from Raw and Revive. So gonna open it up, kind of show you 
what we got. Actually, I think it's just from uh, Get Raw. Um, not actually Revive this time. So, yep. Revive is going to be coming in a few more weeks, guys. But, anyways, um, what we got is the Mega Tub. Got the Mega Tub of protein that they just came out. Got 76 servings in it. Um, 72 servings. But it's uh, probably their best one vanilla oatmeal cookie. Also got the chocolate peanut butter flavor. Um, that's always going to be appreciated. Um, got more of the raw burn because prep ain't over yet. And then uh, the last thing we got is t-shirt from them. Um, just to wrap the brand a little bit. But anyways, guys, okay, now we're going to go over into uh, the next, well, I guess this morning of what I looked like when I woke up. So anyways, guys, yep, see you in the next video. Peace out, bye.